Hi and welcome to your daily stretches. Um, this week's all about props. Um, today we're going to be using our scarf slash strap slash tea towel. You can use your blocks if you want to or your thick cookbooks or your photo album that you haven't looked at for years or whatever you've got around the house. Um, and we're also going to be using a blanket because we're going to be doing that intense quad stretch which is going to be useful with our strap but also the knees get quite um, quite an intense um, stretch too um, so it's good to have some padding underneath them so let's um, place the strap to the right of your mat and we're just going to do a half sun salutation to come into our poses so pushing down and out through the feet hands to heart center core is engaged let's inhale float the arms up towards the ceiling and exhale bring them down into a forward fold and then inhale come up into your halfway lift exhale we're going to come straight back into a downward dog here so just make sure that your feet are about hip distance apart the base of the thumb is taking the weight through the hands. You can just take any movement that feels good for you. Hips are back and high. Now from here, I'm gonna move into a lunge through a box. You can come straight into the lunge if you want to. It's the right leg going forwards first. I'm just gonna heel toe that foot towards the edge of the mat and bring both of my blocks on the inside of that leg and then I'm just going to push the weight forwards into that front leg so I can start to feel that stretch in the back hip flexor here. I'm keeping the torso nice and long, the neck is an extension of the spine. Just one or two breaths here and one more. Now I'm going to come up slightly, putting the left hand on the right knee. Now I'm taking the strap in my right hand and with the little loop here, I'm just going to push the weight forward slightly so that I can bring the left foot away from the floor. And then I'm just going to try and loop the strap around the foot, slide the hands down the strap, and then I can come into my intense quad stretch with the strap and if you want to at that point you can bring your hand back down onto a block. Now the idea here is that you want the shoulder to be rolling open so this right shoulder is coming open across the body and then you should feel the stretch down the quad but there shouldn't be any like intense um, pain there should be no sharp pain so just play with how much you can get that foot towards the buttocks and just know that over time the more you do the stretch the easier it will be one day you may not need the strap but while you do you then have all this range of motion so the foot could be all the way down here or it could be up here but you've got much more range of motion if you use the strap. So just release and then come back into your pose. We're just going to straighten off that front leg, leaving the toe into the floor just for a counter stretch before we then come back into our box. We're just going to put the strap on the left hand side now, move back into our downward dog. Just take any movement that feels good for you here. Couple of breaths in our downward dog. Before we then bring the knees back down, you're gonna take the left leg forward into your lunge and then heel toe the foot towards the edge of the mat. Bring those blocks on the inside of the foot and then just sinking into that front leg making sure the knee doesn't overshoot the ankle, keeping the torso nice and long, the blocks allowing us to keep the torso lifted. So 
into a couple of steady breaths here. One more. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves up slightly, take that right hand to the left knee. And now the strap is in the left hand. So we're just going to push the weight forward slightly, bring that um, foot up, and then we're just going to catch the foot in the hand and then just start to pull it towards you. You can bring the hand back down to the block if you want to, and then you're just going to roll that back shoulder open and just bring the foot up as much as feels comfortable for you. And you should feel that stretch down the quad, down that big muscle in the thigh. Just make sure there's no sharp pain. The breath remains steady here. And we're just going to be here for a couple more breaths. And then just release the foot back down. Just bring the hands to the blocks, just take that counter stretch, leaving the pad of the toe on the floor, and then just coming forwards, moving through our box position. And that's it. So we've used a few things there. The blanket's just given us that extra padding for the knee. You can double up on your mat if you haven't got any blankets available to you. Just fold it over. Um, strap just so that we get a bit more range of motion to be able to grab that back foot. And then we're just bringing the floor to meet us with our blocks. So hope you enjoyed. I might see you tomorrow. If you liked this video, please um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from Roma Love Sugar. Thanks very much. Bye.